In this video, I'll be answering a question submitted by Madi. This question is about Apple Photos for Mac and text. Hey Madi, thanks for watching and thanks for asking your question. Madi wants to know how to work with text in slideshows you create in Apple Photos. A few months ago, I created a video that showed you how to create a slideshow with Apple Photos for Mac. This video is a follow-up to that one, so I'll link it in the description in case you haven't seen it yet. If you've created a slideshow in Apple Photos for Mac, you've probably noticed that your first slide inherits some text, which probably matches the name of your slideshow project exactly. Welcome to Hey Ivan, a channel where you can ask tech questions. Drop your question in the comments and I'll give you an answer. And if you find value in this video, click like and maybe share it with someone else. Thanks. I'm including chapter links in the video so you can jump directly to the section you want. I'm going to skip the basic overview of the Photos app to save time. However, if you'd like to go a bit deeper into how to use photos to make slideshows, be sure to check out this video, link in the description. Let's jump into Photos for Mac and get started. As you can see here, the first slide in my slideshow already has text on it. This text is the same as the name of my slideshow project. Photos added it for me automatically. So how do I change it? First, click the text on the timeline to select it. Then click the text in the main slide area and make your edits. I'll change mine from vacation to our amazing vacation. If you want the text to be on two lines, place the cursor and then press enter. Beyond that, there aren't really any controls that allow you to change how text is laid out. Photos does offer you a few options for controlling the font though. You can set it to be bold, italics, or underlined, or any combination of the three. Notice that the options you choose affect all the words in your text title. You also have a few other options like Kern, which controls the spacing between characters. Click anywhere in the text title, then click Edit Font Kern, then choose to Tighten or Loosen. Tighten reduces the space between characters, while Loosen increases the space between characters. You can apply either of these multiple times to continue to increase or decrease the space between text. Click Default to apply the default kerning space once more, or click none to remove any kern applied to your text. Of course, what I think you'll use most is show fonts. That's under edit font show fonts, or you can just press command T. In the dialog box that appears, you can select from any font installed on your Mac. Choose the family, typeface, and size. This dialog box gives you access to every possible text attribute you can affect. Let's change our font family to something a bit more decorative than the default Helvetica. You know, it took me a while to realize that it's possible to add text to other slides in your slideshow. Select another slide in the timeline, then click the plus button and choose add text. You'll notice that you can only add text to a slide once. You're not able to add multiple text elements to a single slide. Once you've added text to your slideshow, you can drag it around the same way you can drag slides around. Using text on your slides can bring structure to your slideshow and help your audience better understand what it is they're seeing. To delete text from your slideshow, click the text in the timeline, then press the delete key on the keyboard. Alternatively, you can right click or control click text in the timeline and then click delete text. You'll notice that each theme displays slideshow text in a different way. I'll take a moment to briefly show you how text looks in each one. Remember, if you'd like to skip ahead, you can use the chapter links to do that. Here's Ken Burns, Origami, Reflections, Sliding Panels, Vintage Prints, Classic, and Magazine. Based on what you're going for, the theme you'll need and the text you'd like to use will become clear. In addition to text and theme, you can also control the music in your slideshow. Check out this video to show you how that works, or maybe click this video which YouTube thinks you might like. Thanks Madi for playing along at home. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.